Today we're going to be talking about Meta Taylor. Meta Taylor. Dress your meta humans. Dress your meta humans. Now this is pretty damn cool. Everybody, there's a free version. Kudos to these people for a free version. Uh, pretty cool. I don't know what the free per per version gives you. Features, smart layer, blah, 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 blah. I mean, you get you get some you get some cool. Things. You don't get dynamic accessories, new features, but I mean, that's that's a good price. That's a good price, man. That's that's very good. Well done. Honestly, well done on this. It's not bad at all. Let's get into it, okay? So first of all, first of all, what we want to do is you need to import a metahuman into Unreal's engines. Unreal's engines. Yes. So I got this one. Make sure they're naked, as as naked as you can get them. Uh, I should have probably left off the shoes, but okay. Uh, and then you can see the whole hair thing again. That hair thing, come on, Epic. Just go to LOD sync here, double, uh, and just put this to, to one over here. So click it, put it to one, and you're good to go, okay? Your, your hair is going to be all fine. So how do we dress this human? Okay, so just drag in your BP into your scene. Make sure it's zeroed out. So your location, zero, zero, zero over here. Click on your human, your BP, boom, and just say file and export selected that's it that it that it then we're gonna come over there, there this thing over here and we're going to uh we're going to save it out okay i'm just going to go straight up uh save it out so i'm just going to select the folder whatever and i'm going to call this uh what is her name uh shanique okay bob i'm going to call it bob i just need that save it and over here you get all the settings just just reset to default it's all good and export okay boom now we've exported the character now we're going to open up as a meta email okay open up your uh, thingy just say create new project okay create new project let's call this uh meta human bob or whatever whatever you want to call it, mate it don't matter in it it don't matter, isn't it? And then you come up with this, and that's pretty damn cool. So the first thing that we want to do, first thing we want to do is we want to bring in our own character, right? <coughs> now, where the hell do I do that? Huh? <laughs> All right, so the first thing you want to do is go to Avatars, Abadar, right there, and you want to say, uh, search for... Uh, import you want to import this okay so you're gonna say import avatar so import is up here avatar bam and then just go pick your uh, character your character so we're gonna pick the character that we made as Bob it'll import it all right, so once it's imported, you're going to get this. Name, Bob, you can change whatever you want. Material, dynamic, apply pose, merger. Okay, so basically you just got a standard metahuman in there. You haven't done anything. It's fine. Then it's going to say to you, material landmark, next step. So if you're happy with all of this, uh, texture maps, you, you can import all the maps if you export them for your metahuman. We're not going to do that right now. We just want to address them. Going to go to next step. And in the step, it's going to say auto map, blah, 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 blah. Now, remember, you can turn your metahuman around. You can, uh, I think it's the same. Yeah, it's it's kind of, it's like dealing with Unreal Engine. I've got I've got my right-click mouse button down, and I can zoom around and do what I want, mate. So, basically, we want to just make sure that all these things are in the right, uh, in the right place, okay? Skull, skull base, yes. Skull cover, like... I'll lift that up a little bit and the tip of the nose. I'm going to just bring that up a little bit like that and just just see if uh just see if everything you can see this make sure you do this in in uh checking out all all the different angles and stuff because it's make sure it's in the right places, okay? Uh make sure everything's fine. Man, this is what this is finicky. Okay, so you can also move around just by middle mouse dragging. Uh, you can zoom with your scroll wheel, and you can rotate with your, your right mouse button, okay? So I just want to see if this is all good. 
this is good. Yeah, this is pretty good. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, it did a pretty good job, right? So we can hit. Uh, oopsie! Did I just hit auto map so it re resets everything? No. Okay. Yeah. Yes, it did. It did. So don't hit auto map. Just lift that up a little bit. Lift this up a little bit. So you got the the top of your crown, something like that. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Something like that. And we're good to go. That, you just want to move to the center of the head. Okay. And we're pretty good. Now we can say next step and load everything for us. And we get our Abadar. Now, we imported all those other layers, which we probably shouldn't have. Okay, we've got like every little thing here. Uh, and we didn't really want to do that. Okay, but that's it's it's fine. It's fine. Just to see because when we exported, we exported all of those uh, watch my qualities, right? So I'm just gonna go back and redo that. So in Unreal Engine, I'm gonna say file. I'm gonna say export selected, and let's just type over Bob. Say yes, and I'm gonna switch off all of this crap, all of the stuff. Just switch it all off. Morph targets. So I'm gonna leave more. Export. Okay, so that's that's all we're looking for. Just switch off, switch off all the uh, the the exporting out all the different things. It's fine. So now we're just gonna go back into here. I'm gonna go. Uh, don't save this, and I'm gonna say new project, which is let's just create a new project called Bob, and let's do that quickly again. Okay. So what did we do? We said import avatar, uh, Bob right there. And it'll import the mesh, not all of the LODs with it. Okay, so once we got that, there we go. We've got the Mataho man. You can just check everything here. Apply pose merge. You you can import all the materials for this metahuman if you export them out. I'm not gonna do that. Uh, instead, I'm just gonna go to the bottom here and say next step, right? Because we're happy with all of this. Yes. Uh, leave it as uh, default. Uh, and then you get to this this little thing and now over here You're just gonna make sure that all these markers are in the right place. It does a pretty damn good job This looks all fine. The tip of the nose could be probably a little higher like there and the skull crown Could be higher too now make sure you check in a 3d view because as you can see things change things change, okay? So make sure that you're just doing this in the 3d view so you get like a more accurate result, okay? That looked good, that looked good, that looked good. Everything else looks pretty damn good as default. And so you're just gonna move the little markers to make sure tip of the nose is on the tip, uh, skull crown, skull base, you know, they, they're all in the correct kind of places. Just something like that, there we go. Okay, then we can say next step, boom. And that, will create our Abadart. Oh, Abadart. I got two bobs because I messed up the first one. So we load up the Abadart. Abadar. Let me just see here. This must be the one that's, yeah, this is the one that we messed up with all the ones. So this one over here, we can actually just delete. We don't need that one. Delete. You can right click on the, or you can just click on these three dots and you can delete it, right? So we've got Bob. Okay. Let's, uh, let's dress these things. We can just go right up here and we can go to clothes. Straight away, if we can go to the clothings and then you can just start checking everything out. Pro and free. I mean, there's a lot of free items that you can use. There we go, I'm just gonna click it. You click it once, it'll download it, it'll load it on, and you gear. You gear. It's good. Put it on. There we go. So once you download it, you can just do that. And there we go. Boom. I want a shirt. Click it on. It'll download it. Download it successfully. And just click it again. And it'll go right one. Now check this out. I've got the shirt over this, right? Now let's say I wanted this under this. Look at this. You can just drag and drop this. Bam. <laughs> so you got your layering system right one there. Your layering system is right one there. And that is pretty damn cool. That's pretty damn cool. Tools, you've got all the tools that if you wanted to like kind of just sculpt original, sculpt layered, you can do whatever you want. You can you can start sculpting it. You can start 
matching it to who you want, mate. Whatever one you're on there, and that's what it is, all right? Uh, I'm just going to cancel that because I don't want to do anything there. But you can click on each layer, and you can start shrink wrapping, push. Now, let's say I go in this, and I say shrink wrap, sculpt layered, and then it starts just doing all these things, radius. Look at this. You can start shrink wrapping it onto wrap on your thingy. Uh, you can grab, so you can, you you know, you can start sculpting all this shit. I'm going to say cancel because it fitted pretty damn good. And then you can just go back to content browser to some new clouds, okay? Uh, and then you can scroll, you can search for what you want, I guess. Uh, marketplace, interesting. My imports, oh, okay. So let's look for pants. There we go, pants, right there. Pro version. Let's see what you get with them pro version. So basically, it'll just uh, download. And then you just click it again. And you can, you can whatever. And it'll go. If you don't like something, you can literally just come here and just delete it. Okay? With a little X over here. You can also hide layers over here. So, all pretty damn cool. Very cool. I'm going to put this under everything. So it's tucked away nicely like that. And you can see these layers are just wicked, man just works very well uh, the quality of the clothes it's a new product <laughs> it's a new product you know cut them a little bit of slack slacks get it mate pants slacks okay jokester pranks the mate and over here you can you can download masks and certain things backpacks shoes whatever you want it's all good and you can just click it again, and bam, there comes the mask. Hello, Clarice. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Let's get rid of that. Uh, on top of that, mate, let's just have a look here. I want to see if they got, like, any kind of, uh, there we go. You can you can change the, the tints and the materials and the hues and uh whatever you want over here this doesn't mat yeah this doesn't work though i can't I can't seem to get the matte working saturation ah here's your hue sorry okay okay saturation value so you can you can do you can change things also in there right let's say you're done i'm going to take away this once you are done here what you can do is you can say export right mate export and you can you can get a folder name but choose save location okay and you can choose what location i've got mine right use bob desktop meta taylor okay no actually let's let's do that to desktop and m taylor and okay so you just choose that uh include avatar clothes skin weights clean bones uh, you don't need to do any of this uh scale one yes texture format png f whatever and folder name uh you can just uh i guess call it uh suit clothes i don't know clothes just give the folder a name and then you can include the avatar include clothes so it'll include everything for you we don't need the avatar we want the skin weights clean bones i'm not too sure what that means i don't know mate skin weight whatever okay uh, I mean, we can we can add the avatar just to see what it exports, and we can export it. Right, so goes through everything, it exports it. We'll be back in a sec. <laughs> okay, once you get back, you get your clothes FBX, and you get your textures, and this chucks out everything for you. Right now, this is interesting because the clothes are in one FBX. So let's let's have a look here. Let's have a look here. Let's. Uh, I'm just gonna drag this here let's open up the scene mate and i'm just gonna go over here mate all right yeah. and let's just go to like uh youtube yeah okay fine i'll do a new folder here called clothes and let's open that up and let's just drag in i'm just gonna drag in this fbx of this clothes right here and over here now over here you need to attach it to your skeleton right skeleton and we're going to go look for uh metahuman base skeleton right there metahuman base skeleton click it on that and is there anything else that we need to do actually uh, mate no no or oh, don't think so i've got to import that mate 
and let's see what it does. Okay, and it imports everything for us. Bam, there's the clothes, there's the all the textures. That That is pretty cool, mate. Everything is right here. So in order to change this out now, uh, you can go to, I think it would be um, body. Would it be body? And you can just swap this out. Bam. Okay. That's it. Everything's right there. <laughs> He's close. What's up with these textures, man? Look at that. That's not great. I mean, the shirt's all right. But come on, meditator. Get your, get your quality. Get your quality, guys. Uh, and that's it. Uh, I don't know what happened there. I lost some. I lost lost some materials along the way, but that's it. You can just go to the body, and uh, of the metahuman, and you can swap out the body for the clothes. Okay. Uh, the other thing is, if we go back to uh, meditate, let's say you wanted the shirt separately, uh, or the sh the top half separately, and the bottom half separately. Uh, I don't think you can do that. You can't do that. You need to swap, you need to have everything as one, except the accessories. So remember, each body part uh, uses something else, like the face, we would, well, that would be different. Accessories on the face, I think, would be different. But that is pretty much how you do it. Legs, torso, maybe you can, maybe you can't. I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, that's the way I know how to do it. Put it on the damn body, okay? Put it on the body. Uh... And you can also save out things separately if you needed to. Over here, if I go to, uh, okay, go back to design, and you can go to accessories, and you do get a couple of accessories so that you can export to. And let's just see one. I'm not going to import it. It's a, it's an accessory. You, you import it. You put it in the hand. Okay. <laughs> it doesn't need a huge explanation, but uh, oh, oh. Ooh, you can put it on the body like this. That's cool. That's cool. Okay. So once you put it on the body, that's pretty cool. Let's see here. Move. Okay, you can just move it any way you want. But you can put a sword on the back. You can create like a, a what is it called? A uh, On the bone. What am I looking for? A socket. And then you can attach it to the socket. Fine. But anyway, okay, so that uh, that's it. Let's go over a couple more clothes. I mean, that's how to use it, the basics of how to use it. Uh, let's let's see if uh, confirm we can get rid of the sword. But let's just see a couple more clothes, see if there's anything pretty cool around here that we can be using. Taps. Something that looks nice. Let's see, free. Okay, that one's free, mate. All right, free. I like free. I do have the pro version. We do got a pro version. Um, so some assets are all right. Some assets are okay. Let's see, man. I'm kind of wondering about the quality of these assets. Uh, let's click on that. Ari, what do you think about this? You look like Ari. That's what it is. Ari got involved with this, didn't he? Didn't he, the weak and bastard? Let's see if we put this underneath. The shirt goes underneath and over top. And over here is a nice example where you can take the grab tool, uh, sculpt layered, and you can you can just start you know just putting it out and just just defining it better, which is it's nice. It's awesome to have these tools. You can just do it right off the bat. So basically, what I'm hoping is that, and then I can say confirm, and there we go. It's a little bit better. <laughs> Content browser, uh, jeans. You can't mess up jeans. Let's let's have a look at the jeans. Let's have a look at jeans, mate. So going back to the price and seeing, I mean, I still think it's good. I still think it's pretty good. Uh, you know, it's not perfect. It's not perfect. It's definitely not. But you know, it's it's new. It's new. So let's give everybody. Put that at the bottom there. This I like. This just fits so nicely. That just works really well. So let's... Uh, I think what they're going to rely on is uh, people making clothes for this. I think that's what they're going to rely on, and I think that's clever. You know, make the technology, make it good, and then allow everybody to make clothes and sell it on their store or whatever, or put it up. Or, I, I don't know how it's going to work. But 
Uh, here, marketplace. See, they do have a marketplace, so I'm sure that you're going to be able to do this. But otherwise, I mean, you know, it's okay. It's okay. It's it's it it works. I mean, if you're sick of the three clothes that you get for metahumans and you want an easy way of creating new clothes for your metahumans and just exporting them right away, it's not a bad thing, man. <gasps> a clown suit. Let's see what the clown suit does. Let's just get rid of all this, mate. Let's get rid of all this because we want a clown suit. Here we go. Put on, put it on. Put it on, love. And let's get rid of all this, right? We don't need all this all this mess we found the one that we want we got it we gotta stick with it let's get the clown mask let's get a clown mask mate looks a little like Adi Adi is that you looks like it looks like bloody Adi looks like his face there Adi that's what you look like even your mother says you're ugly you wee bastard so damn you know Let's just see if you can have a couple of these things on. I think it's I think it's cool for the price. I think it's cool. I think it's going to get better and better. I love the idea. I think it's so well done. If this was a plugin inside of Unreal Engine where you could literally open this up inside of Unreal Engine and just dress them on the fly, that would make this absolutely crazy powerful but the fact that you can open up a program export it really easily i think it's i think it's a no-brainer look we'll get into uh, importing your own clothes and setting it up inside of here which is pretty cool i've done it with one or two things and it's pretty damn cool i'm not gonna lie it's wicked but man for the price and for what it is i think it's pretty good i think it's cool especially if you're bored of what the metahumans have at the moment i think it's pretty cool I think it's all right. I think it's all right, mate. What do you think? What do you think? Let me know what you think. I mean, 300 bucks a year and you, you can claw them in all of this. You know, some assets are better than others, definitely. I don't think the quality is just there yet. It's not. It's not. Even though I want it to be, it's not. It's not there yet. I think the actual program itself is really easy to use and it, it works. It just works which is really nice, man, uh, you know. So, and the way that you can export it and just get everything out, I think they've done a, I think they've done a pretty good job. Once it's out, it's in. And, you know, you've got, you've got, I don't know what's up with the eyes there, but you've got your human in seconds. Okay, you see a lot to be desired with the clothes. <laughs> I don't know, man. That's a little bit weird, isn't it? But otherwise, it's all right. Anyway, I hope this helps. I hope you have a bloody good weekend, lads. Lads, have a great weekend. I love you very much. It's beautiful, isn't it? And speak to you guys later. Bye, guys.